So just looking at my MYP4 um, diagnos diagnos diagnostic test, uh, question five, all about Pythagoras. Um, we have got three triangles, find the missing sides. In the first one, um, the largest side here is the seven. We know it's the largest because it's opposite the 90 degree angle. So we can write, according to Pythagoras, that x squared plus three squared equals seven squared. So the two smallest squares add up to the biggest squared. And I've written it with the, the two on the left and the one on the right so that we get the x on the right and it'll be neater. So anyway, that boils down to x squared plus nine equals 49. And taking away nine from both sides to get the x bit on its own, x squared equals 40. So x would be the square root of 40, which you can do on your calculator is six point something. On to the next question. Um, this time uh, the missing one is y, and that's the longest side on this occasion because it's opposite the 90 degree angle. So again, I'm going to write uh, Pythagoras. Let's just get rid of that one. Um, so y squared equals five squared plus four squared. This time I've written the two on the uh, right and the odd one on the left and that's just to keep the unknown thing on the left so to keep the the y on the left so I get y equals answer at the end I've done it that way around okay so y squared equals 5 squared is 25 and 6 squared is uh, uh, 4 squared is 16 so y squared equals 25 plus 16 which is 41 so y is the square root of 41 on this occasion um, and again that's six point something you can do that on a calculator last pythagoras question um, problem with this one is just that the diagram's been turned around a bit but uh, you can see that the eight is the longest side because it's opposite the 90 degree angle so i'm going to write x squared plus five squared that's the two shorter sides equals 8 squared, that's the longest side squared. Um, and again, I've written it with the 2 on the left and the odd one on the right, so that I have my x on the um, on the left. I've just realized it's actually supposed to be a z, so I'll just change that to a z. Okay, so um, z squared plus 25 equals 64, working out those squares. And then I'm going to take away the 25 from both sides to get the z bit on its own. So 64 um, minus 25 is um, uh, 39. Let me just double check that. 50, 64, yes. So Z has got to be the square root of 39, which, as it happens, is 6 point something, which you can work out on a calculator.